Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, you are going to learn how we can make use of intervals in our Angular application. Intervals are very useful when you are performing continuous operations or repetitive action based on time. For example, if you are creating any animation based on particular number of seconds or you are creating a timer where timer will be running based on the seconds. In this example, as you can see here, timer, simple timer is running based on seconds. On every seconds, it's counting and it's displaying on the screen. This is a simple counter which I have built it here. This counter can be colorized and based on your requirement, you can make the modifications. So let's see how we can achieve this one in our Angular application. As you can see here, I have a simple component in which we have only title that is interval works. And when you see that one in browser, you can see only that text appears. And apart from that one, we don't have anything in our component. There are two ways to create interval in our Angular application. One is by using pure JavaScript where we have set interval method by using which we can create intervals or we can make use of RxJS which is Angular library which have a lot of features and options for Angular by using which we can create interval as well. So let's see both options and create a timer here. As I said the first method is by using basic JavaScript set interval function. We want to create a timer as soon the application loads so that I will write set interval within this ng on in it. Set interval JavaScript method or function will receive two parameters. The first parameter is a callback function which needs to be executed and the second one is the time which we need to define in terms of milliseconds. So here I have mentioned as 1000 milliseconds which means it's one second. We need to define the function which needs to be called on interval of one second. For that one I will create a function number increment. So I will mention this function here and in Angular we need to mention as this dot then the function name. So we have defined it here. So now on each one second increment this function will get called. The next thing we need to do is we need to initialize the number and send it to this function. For that one let me create one number and I will initialize this one to zero so that I can increment this one on every one second and display in our HTML template. And as we need to start this one on initialization of our application and we need to send this particular variable to this num increment function. For that one, I'll convert this function to arrow function. Then I will pass this number by using this dot number one. So now this number variable or number initial variable will be passed to number increment function. And here we need to receive the number. So for that one, I will create a variable by name number received and it will be of the type number. So now the flow goes like this. At the beginning, number one will be initialized to zero and on, on initialization of the application, this method will be called and this will be executed. And on each one second, we need to increment the number. For that one, I will use the increment operator and I will append that one to number one. So whenever this function will get called, it will be incremented. Now the flow is completed and we are getting the incremented value on each one second. But we need to display this one in our HTML template. So that is the final step for which I will use the string interpolation and we are storing the value in number one. By using the string interpolation, I will add the number one which we have created and incrementing on every one second. Let me save all files now and go back to browser. You can see the counter or the application is running successfully and on each one second it's getting incremented and it's being displayed in our Angular applications HTML template. 
So there's an easy way how we can do that one in our Angular application. As I said, there are two methods of doing this one. The first method which we have performed just now that is using JavaScript's inbuilt method that is set interval. Now I will comment this one. Let's see how we can make use of RxJX library and create interval in our application. For that one, first we need to import the interval and subscription from RxJS library. Then second step is we need to create instance of these two. For that one, I will create subscription which will be of the type subscription which we have just now imported from RxJS and I will create one source variable which will be of the type interval so which we have imported from RxJS library and within this interval we need to define the timing as we have decided it will be of one second that is thousand milliseconds we need to mention it here now we are done with defining these two variables as we have already number increment function the final step in TypeScript file would be just we need to call this method. The proper method to call this function using RxJS subscription is first you need to subscribe to source by using this dot source dot subscribe and within the function we are going to use arrow function again and this function will just call our number increment function and it will send the parameter as we did earlier and we are going to send the parameter or the variable number one and I am going to save this one to this dot subscription which is the subscription method which we called this is useful as we are subscribing this one we need to unsubscribe whenever the application closes for that one we have used subscription and copy this one and on ng destroy that is a lifecycle hook that will be called just before closing the application so within this one we will unsubscribe to this interval that's it what we need to do as we have already HTML template defined earlier now I have saved this file and will go back to browser you can see already counter is running if I refresh the application you can see our counter is successfully running so these are the simple steps which we need to follow to make use of intervals in two methods in our angular application